Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome. This is your bonus love reading for August 2023. So let's see what's happening for you. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what we have going on here. We have here, beginning, incubate ideas, set in motion, walk a new path. So are you walking a new path? Something new coming in for you? Hmm. Do you feel it? I don't know. Before I started this reading, I just want, guys, I want to share this with you. I got like the butterflies, the excitement about something. I don't know what, but I know it's happening in someone's energy and someone, maybe they're really excited about these ideas that they're, they're incubating here because it's like, oh, it feels so good. It feels like, okay, I'm excited. I don't know what I'm excited about because it's great, but I am excited. Let's um, clarify that a little bit. <clears throat> A big new beginning here. A beginning. Well, it just says beginning. I'm putting new. Because <laughs> I'm very excited. The hangman, because you've been waiting so long. Oh, you had to wait. Something might have... Maybe you knew you had to wait, or some reason you had to wait here. So, But you gained a different perspective. There was a reason for the waiting. So you're going to set something in motion. You walk in a new path. It, it just feels so exciting. It feels like, okay, I don't know, I'm feeling like it's about time. Okay, so let's see. What's crossing you? Access. Inner knowing. It's in reach. You you're, you know, I keep on wanting to put words in here. Now we have it. It's in reach. And I want to put in. It's in reach now. Because you've been waiting so long. So use your connections. You do have connections available to you. So they want you to reach out. Use your connections. You know, do what you have to do here. Okay. Let's see. Let's clarify that a little bit. A lot of green. Have you noticed? Money, honey. <laughs> okay, and we have here the Queen of Wands. Okay, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is like, it's feeling like you're just, you're very inspired at this time. You're feeling very creative. And, um, you know, I, I almost want to say a little more daring than usual. Should I say that? I mean, with Earth signs, you guys are a little bit more um, reserved. You try to watch it a little bit. But I feel like you're so excited. that And, and it's that inner knowing, that knowing that this is going to work. Something's going to work here. Now, this could be saying that you're dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But for some reason, I know these are love readings. But they've been sort of like taking care of things. Like, you know, we are in Venus. Venus. Oh, I'm putting retrograde in Venus together. See how I do that stuff? all the time venus and retrograde and you know that's sort of like things going backwards a little bit and, and going back to the past but the thing is i'm so excited here that there might be something coming in as far as a love connection with with someone a queen of wands but you know it's something that is might take a little longer because of the retrograde or it might be saying don't really rush things you might be meeting someone at this time too and maybe it's not going to really pan out until maybe after the retrograde. But it also could be, you know, with the retrogrades, we have the Venus retrograde, we have the Mercury retrograde. You know, you can go back towards the past to review something, to, you know, um, is this really, is this worth reconsidering sometimes? Or, you know, it might be just saying, you know what, I'm able now to put this to rest. I'm able to put closure to this. But, um... But I'm very excited. It, it feels more like an energy of what's going on with you. So, yeah. So, a lot of these love readings feel like they're not so much love readings because of the retrogrades. But, you know, it just might be giving you a little glimpse of what's to come. So, let's see about this Queen of Wands. Put that there and let's get a charm. See a charm on this Queen of Wands. Lotus. Yeah, it's a very strong spiritual thing going on with you. <clears throat> like your crown chakra, you know, something is expanding, something is opening up, something is, um, it's like the veil is, is thinner at this time. So there's something you're feeling, seeing. I'm just very excited for you guys. Whatever this is, it just feels amazing. Okay, let's see what the general energy is around you. Authority, achieving mastery, in charge, consulting a higher power. Yeah, see? Consulting a higher power. That's what you're doing. You're tapping in. You know, it's like you're achieving a mastery in something that you do. And um, you're taking more charge of your life or, um, of, you know, I'm also getting like of your beliefs. 
it feels like it just feels very like um you know that knowing that really knowing and um it just feels so decisive it doesn't feel indecisive at all so you're taking charge of your life here whatever you're doing here let's um clarify this authority but I'm loving this. I don't know what's going on, but I I want to stay in this energy all day. <laughs> Ooh, see, don't the naysayers or the people that try to discourage you. This is also the ego. You know, it's like, don't listen. <clears throat> you have a very strong attachment <clears throat> to your higher power. And when you do that, a lot of times the ego does not like that. So this will be this um, gibberish that you hear. Or it's like you're trying to do something and, you'll, and you get that... Um, that energy that sort of comes around towards you is like, oh, you can't do that. Who do you think you are? You can't do that. Bull. Yes, you can. And just when I looked at the time, it was 555. Five, five. Changes. There's definitely changes coming in here. And this is a 5-2. So I'm getting chills. I'm telling you, these are, these readings have been so intense. I am getting like those those chills, the waves of chills. Like chill, chill, chill. It's like, whew, is this ever intense. So you're going to have more power at this time too to understand when someone is not like it's not your energy it's like something talking like a lot of times you hear guides your guys talking the angels talking it's always nice it's always sweet i have to keep on getting um putting this message across for someone for some some reason it keeps they keep on giving it to me over and over again maybe that's the, the retrograde thing i don't know to repeat but um it's that yeah if you hear something like yelling at you or being uh, mean that's not your guides. That's not the angels. That's not like the higher source. You know, that's coming from another area. You don't want to bother with that. Only time that maybe the angels or your guides will be like that is if they're trying to prevent you from getting hurt. Like if you were like maybe looking at your phone, not paying attention, and going to get hit by a car, they'll say no or stop or or something. They'll get a little more aggressive. But you know. So let's um let's go on to the next past energy. <clears throat> okay, we have personal power, independent, authentic self, aligned. So you are being aligned. <clears throat> this happened in the past. So you might so yeah, so you might have been already feeling this being triggered a little bit, that you're aligning with something, you're feeling like personal power, you feel more independent and your authentic self here. Let me get a they look see it probably moved really quickly too so we have that card and then we have the eight of wands so um something happened quickly in the past that pushed you into maybe uh, another position or pushed you into something a little different i just feel like you got sort of like a little push or maybe even a little wake-up call okay so now what's coming in the very near future Transition, adapting to circumstance and sudden shift, quantum leap. That's what happened. We're all shifting now. We're all going through a major change here, you know, and so you're going to feel this soon. If you have, I think you guys already have, you might feel like a little, maybe a little, like a nervous energy or a little antsiness or a little like, I don't know, like I've, the energy I'm feeling now, I don't know what it is, but I like it. I don't know what's changing, but I like it. So let's see what about the transition. Let's get a little more into that. <clears throat> it feels very strong and yeah you're going to be jumping into something new here and we have here the two of pentacles yeah so it might be like you might have to it might take a little bit of time to adjust here of course this is um you know it's two of pentacles might be a decision of some sort but i feel more like trying to balance something so it might be just trying to adjust to your new energy because it's shifting it's changing it's getting lighter brighter higher you know, a higher vibration, your your things are moving quicker. And you're gonna feel this. You're gonna feel like, oh wow, why you know, already we know we always say this things remember when things used to take so long. I mean, now things are just so fast. I remember years ago when, you know, summertime was, you know, like a long like especially even your kid, of course. But I think even the kids now, they don't feel that where the summer is nice and like long and it's it, everything's so quick. But there's more of a quickening coming too. And that's what this is talking about, that you are, you're, you're feeling this, you're trying to balance this right now. So you might almost feel like you might be feeling like you're on a teeter-totter type of thing at times. Okay, but that's coming in quick. And then what else is coming in for you? Secrets behind your back, hidden feelings unknown. 
Okay, you know what? As you're achieving this energy and you are vibrating higher, there's certain people that aren't going to be vibrating higher because they're not, they're not, um, they're not paying attention to a higher source. They're paying attention to something else, and and they're not going to like the fact that your your vibration is higher. So you might be feeling a little bit of someone betraying you or something going hidden in your feelings behind your back, something unknown. But just let it go. Is there is their issue? Is not yours. You know, it really has nothing to do with you. They're, they might be trying to throw it on you, but it has nothing at all to do with you. One of my favorite sayings is, your opinion of me is none of my business. I just love that saying. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. It has to, it has to do maybe with something of around work, or it could be something that you're multitasking and doing a lot of things. And um, others probably are amazed that you can do this or what you do. And so there might be a little jealousy, a little envy. But just let it go. It's their issue that they have to deal with. Um, they're responsible for yourself. We're all responsible for ourselves. We're not responsible for them. And, you know, they have nothing to do with us. Okay, let's see what the um, outside influences are. Now, since we have this going on. Driven. New venture. Divinely guided. Fulfilling your purpose. Okay, so this is out, something outside you is helping you in a way that maybe someone is saying, hey, I like what you do, Capricorn. I want to back you on this. So maybe so you might be getting an, an invitation to some kind of or proposition or uh, offer here for a new venture. But it is divinely guided and it's helping you fulfill your purpose. I like it. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Let's see. Ace of Cups. Okay. So this might be helping you to go towards... Oh, I left, I left somebody on the table here. Who is this? Seven of Pentacles. Since I was left there, I might as well address this. Something wondering whether or not you might, might be reevaluating. It could be reevaluating a love. Reevaluating something you love. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry. Mercury retrogrades always affect me two weeks prior to the retrograde. Lately, <clears throat> it's... <clears throat> It's been like three weeks. So I'm feeling this already. And that I, that always happens. It always seems like it's the strongest for me pre, before, and, and then it gets easier. So I'm, I'm going through some stuff right now with this. Okay, so that's why I can't speak sometimes and, and I get tongue-tied and everything else. So anyway, the Seven of Pentacles, reevaluating, re, re, <laughs> reassessing. Um, taking a look at something maybe. I'm going to just... Well, I'm going to put this back in here. See if it comes up again. Because that was just left on the table. So something was... So I'm thinking that since was, that card was left on the table, there might have been something left for you to reassess, relook, you know, to take another look at maybe. And may, it might be something you'll just... I almost feel like you might just take a look at this, whatever this is, just to make sure that you're okay on the decision you made on it. And you probably are. You're probably fine. But you might just need that... Um, feeling of saying, okay, I just wanted to take another peek, another look at that to see if I wanted to do anything with it or just let it go or whatever you decided on it anyway. Now, so the outside influence, there's a lot of love around you. Someone loves what you do or or this is that you're feeling, you might be just feeling the, um, the emotion of love from someone close to you, that someone has a lot of unconditional love. This is a really deep love. And they're also probably been brought into your life to help you fulfill your purpose with theirs because it might be something that you're doing together or something that you're meant to do together okay so now let's see how people see you new life recovering from setbacks fresh start clean slate yeah this is how they see you oh i'm getting chills the chills are coming again that you are going oh my god <laughs> okay this reading has so been so intense. I got like goosebumps. I feel cold. <laughs> of course, it's hot. And um, so you're recovering from these setbacks, and that and people are seeing this. They're seeing a new you, a new life. A, a um, you're you're um revitalized here. You're just you're glowing, and they can see that you're really happy. You know that you're feeling you're you're excited about your new life. You're excited about this change, and it, it's. It's good. But, of course, you're going to get jealousy from that, too, because other people aren't experiencing that. And you are. So, you know, just let them, you know, do what they got to do. That not, has nothing to do with you. Okay. We have here. Yeah, Nine of Swords. There, here we have it. There's You're doing great, and there's other people not doing so great. 
And by your success, it makes them feel more like a failure. It don't, I don't know why people don't understand. It has nothing to do with the other. So if someone is throwing, just remember to cleanse, do the... um the sage do whatever you do to cleanse because someone might be throwing some kind of negative energy at you so if all of a sudden out of the blue you feel like this anxiety this depression or something like that it's not yours and i would say just um whoever you you speak to whether you speak to god whether you speak to the universe a higher source angels your guys just say please take this away from me if it's not mine take it away if it's mine okay let, help me process it help me go through it but if it's not please remove it and that will help because you're going to have this envy. I don't feel like these cards are here together. You have love around you. And the more love you have from others, the more the people are not, you know, they're not living their authentic self. And if they're not living their authentic self, they are not feeling what you're feeling because you're doing what you need to do here. Very intense. And, you know, just let it go. It's not yours, you know. So just ask for help in, you know dispersing it getting rid of it whatever you need to do here okay now your hopes or fears <clears throat> decisions many choices best option think it through okay so i would say i would say this is almost like a hope and a fear wouldn't you it's like okay yeah you hope for how many choices but and you're hoping you're picking the best option but you might be fearful that you didn't but you just think it through and also don't forget to ask for help you know i mean the angels cannot interfere but they need you to ask for assistance. And don't forget that. So if you need some help, say, so just help me, you know, have a clearer mind to make the decisions I need to make in the best possible way for me. Okay. Let's see. Let's clarify this. The magician. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect card. Okay. Aries, Aquarius, energy. But this is you. This this reading is you. This is like you are manifesting now. So with that being said, just keep in mind, keep all your um, thoughts positive because what you think about, you bring about. We create our own reality. No one has anything to do with what we do, what we create. It's ours. So if you let someone else tell you what to do or you, you think what they say is the correct thing to do, you still are responsible because you create your own real reality. If I could speak. <clears throat> so, yeah, you have all the tools you need. And at this time, this is saying that you're very, very powerful. So your thoughts are very important. Keep them positive. And if for any reason you let negative what likes to sneak back in, when it does... That's this over here because this is this, this this is all being really connected. It keeps on coming back around, and it's like like a spider web all connected here. But anyway, when it when it comes back and you get those negative thoughts, what I like to say is cancel, 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 and then replace it with something positive. This way, you'll get rid of it and you'll you'll start afresh, start anew. Okay, so now let's see. <coughs> I see. I, <coughs> sorry, but. I'm having a tough time with the Mercury Recreator. <laughs> okay, what's the possible outcome? We have here, loss. Release what holds you back. Recharge and after depletion. There are things at this time that you have to let go of. And they're necessary. And don't let them hang on to you because it'll be dragging you down. I like to, um, I don't know if I said this before in one of your readings. I hope not. I hate to repeat myself, but I feel like this is how I um, explain this. I had a rose garden, like 31 roses. Lo I love roses, all different kinds of roses, especially the scented ones and stuff. But anyway, you have to cut the, the you have to, they call it deadheaded. You have to cut the the dead rose off, you, the, the bud that has already bloomed and, and now it's gone. And you then you count down five leaves and cut them on slant. That's how you, you take care of your roses so that they can replenish. And if you don't deadhead the roses... This poor plant is going to put all its energy into something that's gone. It's dead. It has no life. There's no way to bring it back. And then new blooms can't come in. So just make sure that you deadhead whatever you need to deadhead here so that new can come in. Let the past go. If it's done, it's over. Just let it go so you can put your energy to whatever needs it that actually can actually grow. Okay. <clears throat> oh, why am I doing this one? I have to clarify. <clears throat> We have here, ooh, six of cups. See, now this might be a, a past connection that, okay, you know, it's, it, release it, let it go. And this could be love. This could also be something that you did before 
or something that you had a love for or something that was important to you well is it's over it's done and you and you come to terms with that let it go so something new can come in now let's see. <clears throat> We have here trust, strong faith, committed, depending on others. So there is going to be people there that have your back here. Just trust and trust in whatever your faith is that they have your back. Whether it's God, whether it's the universe, whatever it is, just trust that they got your back because they do. <clears throat> it's like you got to give it up. Give it up to whoever it is that you have the faith in, whoever that is that you... um you believe in <clears throat> we have here and things will come back you know what you put out will come back things will be balanced out in your life and it is anyway no matter what we put out there that's what we get back if you can put out evil you can get evil you can put out good you can get good <clears throat> let's see last one here we have unavailable does not want contact not now wait a while okay so there's somebody maybe or something that it's not the right time. At the bottom of this deck we have protection, safe in life, taking refuge. You are being shield. See? Now, if someone does not want your attention, someone does not want your energy for whatever reason, you're being protected here. This is like, these are going together beautifully. So if someone is unavailable, it's because someone's protecting you from this energy. Let's see what we get on that. Seven of Cups. See, you don't know what's uncut, what's underneath. With this Seven of Cups, there's many options, but you don't know if you're going to get a snake. So this is saying, you know, you might have choices, you might have options here, but I'm saying whatever is unavailable, let it be unavailable because you are being protected here. Oh, let me just take the bottom card here. King of Swords is coming in here. Okay, so this could be someone that's protecting you too. Protection, safe in life, taking refuge, you are being shielded. This could be your energy. Um, this is Aquarius, Libra, Gem, Gemini. Very intelligent. Very in tune to nature here, this person. And, and feels like the energy I'm feeling is very... Yeah, very grounded. And um, very trustworthy. And this this energy, whether this is an energy, a person, whether it's your energy or someone else, it is very protective of you. Whether, like I said, whether it's yourself or someone else. But I like this energy because it's also saying that, um, I know, I just, I, oh my God, I just feel so good. If it, it just feels so relaxing and so assured. That's why I feel the person, whoever this is, whether it's you or someone around you or someone helping you, is either, if it's your energy, spirit is making you feel more comfortable, more assured, more, more positive about something. And also making you feel that you're going to make wiser decisions too. Um, let's see, King of Swords. We have here, look at this, stability, long-term relationship. This is what's coming in here. It's, if you're meeting someone new here, if this person's coming in, it could be an air sign, doesn't have to be. It could be any sign, any gender. So we don't get hung up on the signs or the um, the gender, just the energy is what we're focusing on here. So let's see. But yeah, it's like a very strong, um, I almost feel, I feel like, it feels like a strong but gentle force, if that makes sense. You'll know who this person is. You'll feel very comfortable around them and you'll feel very safe. Like you would never think of them ever doing something to hurt you in any way. That they will, they will shield you from harm. Now this also could be just your, the energy that you are incorporating. Um, okay, so now let's see what the word is. So we have the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> Ooh, mystery. The end of jealousy. Okay, so there is some kind of mystery coming in. And somehow something's going to... I almost feel like some, maybe this is how this is all falling into place. You're going to have jealousy around you because you are achieving some kind of amazing goal here. And there's going to be, but somehow, maybe it's this energy here. Somehow, or, or maybe it's some um, spirit taking care of this, putting an end to that. But there is, your, your life is a mystery. And that's always fun. I don't know, I like that. <laughs> Let's see. King of Swords, I only got two. We have accused message. 
Okay, then that this might be for you and might not. Someone might be accusing someone with a message or someone might be thinking someone's accusing someone with a message. Keep in mind, we're going into Mercury and retrograde and communication gets all botched up. It gets all misconstrued. Someone could say one thing. You, someone could say purple and you heard bananas. You know, I mean, it's like it, it could totally get messed up here. So let's see. Let's see what sign we have here. What sign could you possibly be the only sign we have here? Virgo. Aries. Cancer. Sagittarius. Cancer. And Virgo. Look at that. Two Cancers and two Virgos. All right, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Virgo, Aries, Cancer, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Virgo. Now we'll do the letters. We'll do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initials for their first and last name, and they have a male name, and you know that male name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have H, Y, R, L. A E H B K P A Okay, so letters we have for you today are H Y R L A E H B K P A. Oh, and I have a little special extra at the end of this reading too for you guys if you want to stick around. <coughs> okay. I'll just take a few here okay <clears throat> so we have cheryl spelled s-h-e-r-y-l we have joe <clears throat> kelly k-e-l-l-i anthea a-n-t-h-e-a melly m-m-e-l-i we have thimby t-h-e-m-b-i we have lisa l-i-z-a uh, Perry, P-E-R-R-Y. We have Walter. Uday, U-D-A-Y. Tammy, spelled T-A-M-I. And we have Thump. Oh, my. Sorry. Thump. Oh, I can't say it. Thomas. I kept on wanting to say Tom. I, I, did, I kept on trying not to say the H. Does that make sense? Does someone have a name that they, that a person they know that is like, Thomas, but it doesn't have the H. Okay, because if that it kept on wanting to come out, it might be three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twelve. Okay, this is a um, extra I have here. These are relationship cards. Now it might pertain to you, might not. You might be in a relationship, might not, or you might want to hold on to this question for later, or it might you might want to answer it yourself. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pull out this question. And if you want, you can leave a comment or or just think about it yourself, just ponder on it yourself. And, um, yeah, it might help, might not. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see here. It's something I just want to try. I don't know. So the question is, <clears throat> what's something you like to be forgiven for? Oh. Now, you could be asking your significant other this. And then you could always ponder what you think that your answer would be, too. And if you want to leave a comment, just please put answer and then put underneath. Because otherwise, people leave some kind of, like, weird something and i'm not sure if they're they're answering this or they're trying to say something to me <laughs> it's kind of confusing all right guys <clears throat> now remember these are general readings they're not personal reading please take what resonates leave what doesn't please let me know if this resonates please leave comments i love to read your comments and um also if it does not resonate check out your other placements your sun moon rising and venus sign something might resonate with you more and when your other placements if this does not or it might give you that extra information you need that extra you know, piece of the puzzle that makes everything sort of click into place. All right, guys. And also, at the end of each one of these readings, if you get right over here, there should be a thumbnail that pops up. If you click on that, it'll take you to the link of the previous reading. Now, these are the bonus August love readings. The ones I did right before this was the bonus general readings for August. And I'm telling you, they were pretty intense. The spirit was really on fire with these readings. So if you're interested, if you haven't seen them, please check it out. You might enjoy it. All right, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.